Today I'm going to be talking about that special knot we use to tie a stretch bracelet. Welcome back my jewellery making friends. If you're new here, my name is Carol and on this channel I talk about how easy it is to make your own jewellery. Now every single time I make a stretch bracelet I always get in the comments section I can't see the knot or I don't know what you're doing. So today I am going to be making that knot on a giant scale so that you can see it and then hopefully you will get a really good idea about what I'm up to. I'm also going to be making a project so make sure you watch to the end of the video for my best tip on how to make a successful stretch bracelet which by the way stretch bracelets are the easiest thing you can ever make so let's get started now I said it was going to be on a giant scale didn't I so I'm using this cord today instead of my stretch elastic now normally you would you would use a stretch elastic but I thought for demonstration purposes I would use this bright purple cord so hopefully you can see exactly what I'm doing. So the first thing you want to do with your stretch cord is you need to cut it long enough that it goes twice around your wrist and then probably three times around your wrist actually, even more. You want to give yourself plenty of room to work. I'm not going to put any beads on this uh, cord simply because I couldn't find any that the cord would fit through the holes but that's okay I'm sure you'll get the idea of what's uh, what's happening so the first tip that you need to know is that you need to pre-stretch your elastic now as I said this one here I didn't do that and you can see it's stretched and so therefore you can see the beads not a good look what you need to do to pre-stretch your elastic is just Go along giving it a good tug just like this just in sections now, obviously mine isn't stretching because it's cord not elastic but just you know moving along giving it a really good stretch as hard as you can you don't want to break it obviously but you want to give it a really really good stretch and then go back the other way so that you know that it is all stretched out okay now the next thing you want to do is fold your elastic in half so that you're going to put through your beads two times the elastic and that will make it doubly strong. So when I uh, make a stretch bracelet I generally use either a big eye needle or a collapsible eye needle and the reason for that is that you have to get this folded end through the eye and believe me if you do try to do that with a smaller eye needle it is quite challenging. So this is a collapsible eye needle and when it goes through your beads it just that eye just squashes down so it goes nice and easily through your beads. So what you will do is you will thread your folded end through the needle. As I said you could use a big eye needle as well which a big eye needle the hole runs the entire length of the needle. The other thing you want to do is put a bead stopper on the other end. Now a bead stopper is a spring-like contraption and you squeeze it open and you pop your thread through. So I would put my elastic through here and you'll see this later on when I demonstrate. So basically this goes on the cut end. All right. So then you thread on your beads, that's the easy part, you just decide on a design and you thread on your beads. To make the knot, what you're going to do is when you've got your beads on, you're going to, so you've got your end, your folded end, you're going to take your needle off and you are going to thread both ends through that loop, just like that. Next you're going to split your elastic, so you've got one on one side and one on the other and you are going to take one underneath and the other one underneath like that and you're going to put one through the other to tie a knot and just pull it up it's a bit hard to show you without the beads so that's what that will look like now you're going to tie a knot on the top Now you're going to go back underneath again, crossing them and tying a knot underneath. And then do the same thing on the top. And 
one more time underneath and one more time on top. Right, so I, I have tied this a total of six times, three underneath and three on top. Now I know it looks super chunky, <laughs> but believe me, when you do this with a piece of elastic, what will happen is it will lie down on your uh, elastic, nice and flat, and when you cut it, it will go into the bead. Now if you are feeling, still feeling insecure, what you can do is take the end, thread it through your bead, so we'll pretend my finger is the bead, and then you can tie it off again here. So just tying it once and again and oops. so we'll pretend the bead is there and once like that so then you've got a bead in here and then you would take this side and do exactly the same thing through your bead and tie it once and twice and it doesn't have to be pretty believe me because it's going to go inside the beads so looks messy doesn't it <laughs> now the other thing you can do if you still feel that it might come undone is put a dab of glue on it so just put a dab of glue there a dab of glue there and a dab of glue there trim off your ends and you're good to go now I'm going to show you what it looks like on so if I can find the knot here, ah, oh, there it is. You can see, let me see, can you see? You can see there, that's my knot. And it's actually quite unintrusive. I know it looks ridiculously large with the cord, but it is actually quite unintrusive. And as you can see, it just disappears off into the bead and you'll have a hard time finding it again. By the way, if you are interested in making this bracelet or this one here, I will leave a link in the description box below to both those projects. Next I'm going to show you how to do it with actual elastic. So what I've done here is I have used my bead board, my bracelet board, to uh, lay out some beads and I have already threaded them on my elastic. So as you can see here my uh, bracelet measures 16.5. Now here's my best tip for making a stretch bracelet always make it slightly bigger than you think because if you notice when I took off that bracelet it was too tight because I thought I made I made it to what measurement I thought I was and it was just a slightly too small so I'm just going to take that off there so basically measure your wrist and uh, then add maybe a bead or two so I'm just going to show you that this one does actually fit me so let's push those ones out of the way. Now I am notorious for making my bracelets too small but that one actually fits quite well. So what have I done here? I have my bead stopper on one end and remember I've got two of my uh, elastics going through there because my elastic is doubled with a loop on this end. So what I did was I threaded my elastic, the loop end of my elastic onto my big eye, uh, sorry, onto my collapsible eye needle and my bead stopper on the other end and all I did with this one was thread the beads alternatively. Now I have used here some three millimeter black uh, metal beads and some eight millimeter Czech glass fire polished faceted beads. So really, really simple design but it's really, really lovely. I really love the colors here, the uh, kind of coppery blue and uh, I'm on this kind of deep and dark kick at the moment, as you might have noticed, so this works perfectly for me. Now I'm actually going to move my beads down a bit because they're a bit close to that end. Because I need lots of room to move and lots of room to tie my knot. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is take off my needle and put that aside. And now I'm going to take off my bead stopper. Now remember that I pre-stretched my elastic so it shouldn't stretch once it's put together. Once I've tied my knot and when I'm wearing it, it shouldn't um, stretch. 
isn't it pretty <laughs> okay so what I'm going to do is put my threads both through the uh, loop and I'm going to pull it up nice and tight pulling it up so that the loop make sure the beads are all on the other side of the loop I've got it on, I've missed a bead there there we go get down there all right so my loop is nice and tight this might even pull it a little bit tighter there we go and if I wanted to I could still check and it still fits me nicely okay so first thing to do is split your elastic one on either side then you're going to go through the center with one side and through the center from the other underneath the beads all right now we're going to tie a knot so just putting that basically where's it gone basically through there like that and just tie that up so that it sits where it came out of the bead uh, where the loop is pull it tight take it on the top and tie it again now we're going to do that again left uh, right side under left side under tie a knot and pull it tight and again on the top just tie a knot and right side under left side under tie a knot and one more for good luck on the top okay now you can leave it like that if you want to you can see there's the knot let's see if we can see it a bit closer and with all that tying it actually turned out to be quite a small knot now what I could do here is I could take my needle again and I could thread on my elastic one piece and I could go through uh, one maybe two beads and then take my needle off and I can just tie a knot again and one more see that knot has already disappeared <laughs> inside the beads and I could do the same with this side as well so just taking my needle I'm not sure why I've got a loop on that end and threading it through a couple of my beads removing my needle okay so hooking it around my thumb that's the easiest way taking it underneath making sure it's in the right place and hooking it through and one more just hooking it round my thumb taking it through and just pulling it up in the right place and then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to just chop off the ends and there I have a beautiful stretch bracelet colors are gorgeous 
So my best tips for making a stretch bracelet. One, pre-stretch your elastic. Two, always use two threads folded over, so with a loop. Three, tie that knot six times. Four, thread it back through your beads on either side and tie it again. And five, if you're really worried about it, a little dab of glue, but honestly you won't need it. And number six is always add that extra bead so that it's slightly larger than you think it needs to be. If you're interested in making this stretch bracelet, uh, you can buy the beads from our store and you will get a 10% discount using the code stretch knot. Now remember that if you enjoyed this video it would be really great if you would subscribe, like the video and of course ring that notification bell so that you'll never miss a thing. Also if you're keen to make the jewellery that I am wearing today I will leave you a link in the adjoining blog post to a tutorial for this bohemian necklace. I will leave you a link for the uh, rose quartz double stretch bracelet and I will also leave you a link for this one as well. I think that's it. And I might leave you a link for this one, which I made a long time ago, but it's a really cute little uh, bracelet with a little butterfly charm. Also remember, if you are interested in keeping up with what we're up to, to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again soon.